through countless victories and numerous defeats, through passion and harmony, highs highs and lowest lows. There's one club that always keeps its head up and never gives up. It always hunts for every trophy possible and it always comes back from the losses stronger than ever. And this is a documentary by Jalgiris Vinus. So for me, it's being a part of Jalgiris family is very important and it's like a regular family. Sometimes you are upset with your siblings or with your parents or with your friends, but you're still loving them because this is your family. So Jalgiris is my family and of course I am always cheering them no matter how good or how bad they are playing. I'm always looking for them, I will always support them. The foundation of the club, Jalgis Vilnius, was laid in the Lithuanian city of Vilnius in 1947. The club plays its home matches in the LFF Stadium, which has a capacity of 5,067 seats. They play in the highest Lithuanian football division, our Liga. It has qualified the European Competition Conference League this year, making it the first Lithuanian club to play in any European competition. Currently the most decorated Lithuanian club, it did not always enjoy years of glory in the past. Ir žinau, kurai nonės tai yra Žalgiris, nes kovoja dėl čempionų ir, ir yra aukščiausiai tik tik slojai keliami. Tai ta sportininką kaip žaidėja mane labai motivavo. The club was founded in 1947 under the name Dinamo Vilnius and by then the Soviet Union. And a year later it became Spartak Vilnius. In 1953, the club debuted in the top league of the USSR, but eventually ended up last and got relegated. In 1962, the club was rebranded to Jalgiris Vilnius. Jalgiris once again got relegated after making it to the top league a year before. The club was unsuccessful in 1966 and in 1969, as they lost promotion playoffs. From 1969 to 1976, the club got to the third division but eventually came back in 1977. The third attempt to get back to the top of the league in 1982 was successful and Jalgiris Vilnius was back to the top of the league for the playoff this time. In 1987, the club's most successful year of the Soviet period, Jalgiris Vilnius finished in fourth place in the USSR top division. Next year, the club debuted at the European stage in UEFA Cup. The first match against Vienna's Austria was 1-2-0, but the second match ended up being 5-2. In 1990, Lithuania independence, and that meant that the club is no longer competing in the Soviet League. March 17th marked Jalgiris' first post-Soviet match as they played Klaipeda Sirius in Athlendi. The team won the Baltic Championship that year. In 1990, to 1999, Schalgers won three Lithuanian championship titles and the LFF Cup four times. In 2008, financial problems struck Schalgers as the team finished the season despite not receiving a large part of their wages. The community club was formed under the name of VMFD Schalgers. In 2009, the club got together for the revival of the club and participated in the second division on an exceptional basis. Next year, the city's mayor lends a helping hand and the city's municipality becomes a shareholder of the club. Back in the top league, Jalgiris finished third in 2010 and second in 2011 and 2012. The club also won an LFF Cup in 2012 and had a newly appointed director, Vilma Benslavaitine. Next year, the club won all the Lithuanian trophies and almost qualified for the European group stages unfortunately losing out to the mighty RB Salzburg. VMFD Jalgiris became FK Jalgiris once again in 2014, while on the pitch the club won the LFF Cup and the league. Same trophies were won in 2015, while the club's ninth and fourth consecutive LFF Cup was historical in Lithuanian football. Super Cup, two LFF Cups, and the league trophy were added as Jalgiris lost to Kazakhstani club Astana in European group stage qualifiers. Super Cup in 2017 was the club's sixth, while an unfortunate turn of events meant that Jalgiris had to settle for second place in the league with three more rounds to go. Drastic changes to the squad and the staff in 2018 
and the club struggled with the start to the season. Eventually, Jalgiris won the LFF Cup but ended the league in second again while also losing out to Sevilla in Europe. 2019 saw the team coached by three coaches and saw the club finish the season without the trophies. Roller coaster plot in the league in 2020 proved to be successful for the club in the end as they won the championship. Captain Solus Mikolunas is named the first club player of the eventful year in 2021 as the club was hit by the coronavirus and lost in a delayed Super Cup on penalty. However, Jalgris picked up momentum and won the LFF Cup and the league. In Europe, they won first draw against Linfield, however three succeeding draws against Ferencvaros, Mura and Bodo Glim meant that they narrowly lost out to European group stages yet again. Hugo Wiedemann, teams and league's top scorer, wins player of the year. In 2022, the Super Cup was lost narrowly on penalties. The team fared well in European qualifiers. First match was against Kosovan champions Balkany, which Chalgiris won in extra time in Vilnius. Following team, champions of Sweden, Malmö FF were defeated in both legs. And that meant that Chalgiris qualified for European group stages, the first Lithuanian club to do so. Bado and Ludogorets were lost too, and Chalgiris eventually proceeded to the European Conference League with Basel, Slovan Bratislava and Punic in their group stage. Having such great success and the history of 75 years and counting, the club should be thankful for one main person who stepped up in the middle of the financial crisis in 2009 and lifted the burden. No one would be talking about Jalgiris nowadays if not for Vilma Venslovaitene. So, who is she? As the club was renamed to BMFD, it had no money and the players were playing without the salaries. Glooming in his financial crisis and financed solely by the ticket sales and fans fundraising, the club started the season in the second division, they granted permission. Eventually, a group of enterprising people with the knowledge of the football business developed a vision for the restoration of Jalgiris. They found sponsors, prepared Jalgiris for licensing and assembled a team that was competitive with the best Lithuanian football clubs. One of those people was Vilma Menslavaitinia. Coming from studying football club business in Germany, she came back to Lithuania to start the project of creating a community football club in Klaipeda. However, after the invitation came from Rita Zweiginas with the idea that Chalgiri should be restored, she joined this project. As the work began in December 2009, they toiled and put in the effort, sorting out the licenses, finding the funds and the players, and eventually in March 2010, they were approved by the UFA and the Lithuanian Football Federation to play in the A-Liga again. Obviously, this would not have been made possible without the help of multiple politicians and other businessmen and fans as well. Vilma has taken over in the role of the director of Jalgiris, the position she still holds until today. Three years after the establishment of VMFD Jalgiris and after a lot of hard work, the first trophy was won in 2012, the LFF Cup, which returned to Venus after a nine-year break. On November 25, 2014, after legal disputes were settled, VMFD Jalgiris became FK Jalgiris once again. Wondering how other people see Jalgiris Vilnius from their eyes, I have invited a fan Darius Gaidis to give his perspective about what they remember watching the club's matches when they were young. Jalgiris was uh, suddenly playing very well in the second division. They also gave their thoughts on how they see the club evolving over the years. Uh, the money are limited, so it's very difficult to attract top players. But Jalgris is currently using money and is improving every year. Although this year, I think they didn't and much more. Uh, as far as I know, 
to redevelop it and then that was home base. This is home base and we might have it within the village. So in five years we hope to have own stadium and to be a regular of group stage, at least in Europe League. In ten years, well, let's start with the Champions League group stage. As well as why they chose to be a fan of Jalgiris specifically. If you look at theory of sports, uh, in England, for example, and other European countries, uh, football and other games, they are community affair. In America, it's more like a show. So the teams are moving from one city to another. So this is community affair, and my community is Vilnius. Vilnius got only one team, which was a Jalgiris. It's a part of my community and my family. So this is a very simple reason to choose Jalgiris. And aside from Jalgiris, I have some sort of soft spots. So I like Manchester United in England. I follow some green and white teams like Palmeiras in Brazil or Manfield in Argentina. But Jalgiris always comes to number one. Yeah. Apart from the fan's perspective, we are also given the point of view of the former player of Jalgiris, Vilnius. Vytautas Lukša. Nežinai kurai ne, buvo iš tavęs reikalauja. Aišku, yra buvo didelė konkurencija, nes jie jau buvo čempionai. Tai reikėjo įsikovoti vietą statiniai sudėti. Tai kas tik žaidė visada motivuoja, tai aukščiausi keliami tikslai. Plius buvo gera sudėtis, su burta geri žaidėjai kvalifikuoti žaidėjai, geras treneris, jaunas ambicingas, Valdas Dambrauskas. Tas labai buvo gera atmosfera klube, vizija klubo labai gera buvo. Currently, the MFA Žalgiris coach's assistant gave his insight during his spell at the club as a player. Vytautas told us about the motivation, the pressure and the decision to play for the club. He also explained how much the club has changed since he was playing for the club six, seven years ago. Visada, ja, pietų ketvirtą, kas liečia, tai jie visada palaikydavo, visur važiuodavo į visas varžybas. Tai žaidėjai išeina su dvi guba energija, kai jūs palaiko, kai pateina pilno stadionas daliaiskim čempionų lygoj, ten ar taurės varžybose. Tai daug profėjų, jo, tu prasme, buvo sudarytos geros sąlygos, tu prasme, ar čia metalbų apie tai, bet mes metame, kad buvo brandolis lietuvių, buvo gal dešimt lietuvių ir gal legionierių apylygai. Tas buvo geras balansas komandai, tu prasme, ar per lietuvių ir legionierių. Šiuo metu aš to pasigės turis, žaidžia vienas tik tai lietuvis pagrindį daliaisim praeitis kūpinės varžybos Europoj. Tai tas biškį nelabai džiugina kaip lietuviui, nes tai yra Vilnius, yra Lietuvos flagmanas, kaip pasakyti. Ir manau, turi daugiau duoti lietuviam, jauniem žaidėjom integruoti juos į šitą klubą. Kas liečia trofijai užsta jo, mes laimėdavom pakankamai ten viską. Tai treneris turėdavo būdų labai motivuot. Dambrauskas ir jisai surasdavo būdus, kaip tą padaryti. Ir mes tą darydavom, nežinau, jisai tikrai jo visam darbas su komanda, tai aukščiausio lygo. Šiuo metu tą puikį toliau daro treneris ir mes tą turi. Tikrai. Ok.